Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I am going to show you how to set up the Citra emulator using EMU Deck. And this allows you to play Nintendo 3DS games on your, I'm about to say Switch, <laughs> but on your Steam Deck. It's really simple to do. I want to say this video does not condone piracy. It is for educational purposes only. First of all, we need to switch to desktop mode. To do that, you just press the Steam button, go to power, go to switch to desktop, and select that option. Okay, so if this is the first time you've ever gone to the desktop mode, don't worry, I will, you know, cover how to navigate around desktop mode. I recommend that you wait a few seconds before you start trying to control the mouse, just because I find it can either, in the early versions of Steam Deck OS, you know, in the firmware, it wouldn't work. Now it works, but it's not the best. We should be fine now. You, you can either touch the screen to move the mouse and you're, you can, you, you, you know, if you press somewhere, you'll also be a left click. You can use the right trackpad, which is my preferred method, and you can click the trackpad in to activate a left click. And obviously if you keep it pressed and drag, it will be like a you know, click and drag. You can press R2 button to be a left click, which is my preferred method along with the trackpad and press L2 for the right click. So those are the ways of navigating around the desktop mode. Next, from here, you want to download EMU Deck and open up Firefox. If it does not appear down there, let's go to all options, go to application and scroll down and it will be there. Ooh, let me get rid of this. Do, 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 do. Okay, so just search for EMU Deck. To get the keyboard up, it won't appear straight away. You need to press Steam and X, which I just did. And it can take a few seconds to load. Here's a little tip. If you're ever in desktop mode, it usually doesn't happen like the first time you or you know just freshly go in there if you've been in there a while maybe you put your uh, steam deck to sleep and you know turn it on again and you're still in desktop mode find sometimes the keyboard doesn't appear when you try and activate it using steam and x just go out to desktop mode you know there's a return to gaming mode button on the desktop just double click that just do that go back into desktop mode that usually works worst case reboot your console Okay, now, so search for EMU Deck, and you, that's literally what you want to go to, is emudeck.com. And on here, go to Download, select Download Installer. It will tell us that we need to copy the installer to the desktop. Not a problem. That's downloaded now. And I'm going to close this down. And I've got two because I already downloaded it before. You just right-click using L2. Use R2 to, you know, left-click. That's one of the one ways. And then on your desktop, you just paste it. Paste one file. I've already got it, so I'm not going to do it again. And now what you want to do is open up EMU Deck. Because I've already got it, it looks a little different to me. You'll like, check for updates, and you'll say quick update or custom update for you. It'll be quick mode or custom mode or quick install and custom install. Same process. Click custom. Go to continue and select where you want your ROMs and this is where your BIOS files and like keys files will also be stored and I'm going to store them on my SD card recommend that you do the same if you have access to a large one click continue Steam Deck that's fine make sure you have Steam Deck selected by default it should be but if not make sure it is and from here deselect everything other than Citra and in the next one, let's deselect everything. If you do have the update option, everything other than Citra. And you might be wondering what happens if I have already installed, let's say, Duck Station for PlayStation 1 games, and I didn't install Citra, and I come back, I'm deselecting Duck Station. Will that uninstall Duck Station? It will not uninstall it. It will not reset it. It just will not touch it. It will do nothing to it. So your current emulated and configuration will be you know untouched click continue select your emulation station theme i'm going to go for epic noir store homebrew games you can just select no for this and i'll just let you know what's you know happening obviously depending on the emu deck version it might look slightly different but i'll create updated videos if necessary click finish mm -hmm. and this won't take too long for me one because i've already got it installed two I'm only, you know, I've only selected Citra. If you select all of the emulators, as I did initially when I first installed it, it took a fair bit of time. Just something to bear in mind, but it's it's not too, too long. So in, it's installing Steam ROM Manager. Now, something I will be covering momentarily. 
and after Steam ROM Manager, you'll install Citra, which, which is going to be super quick. Okay, Citra is now being installed. As you can see, that was super, super quick. And it's pretty much done now. It'll say the installation is done. Okay, now it's just telling us how to add games. Let me show you. So if you go to where you've installed your you know, EMU deck, whether that's SD card or your storage, you just go to emulation. You go to, you know, where it is first. Go to emulation. You go to ROMs, and in ROMs, if you go to 3DS, here is where you put your or your games. And uh, Mario and Luigi is a decrypted ROM, and Super Mario 3D is an encrypted ROM. Ideally, find decrypted ROMs. Obviously, I cannot show you where to get games from, but if you literally Google, you know, like Super Mario 3D Land, <laughs> you know, space 3DS, space decrypted download, you will find it. So that's what I recommend. If you do have encrypted ones, again, not the recommended way, just because you need the AES keys. But if you do, it's not an issue. Just go back and go to BIOS, go to Citra and keys. And you want to get an AES underscore keys dot TXT. Again, for legal purposes, I cannot provide this. But honestly, if you Google AES underscore keys dot TXT, download you will find it there's a particular github page that has the raw data in there it's not that many lines you just copy and paste it into here and to create a new file you just press l to go to create new and go to text file you'll ask you you'll ask you to name ignore this you'll ask you to name it and you just press you know steam and x to launch up the keyboard Ooh, i'm struggling to Okay, so that's what you would do. If you have any questions, you know, for any part of this video, any links or anything, feel free to post on the Discord group link in the description. Okay, so now that we've got that, showing you where to put the ROMs. And in terms of the ROMs, let me show you again. In terms of what file format is supported, if you go to system info, this confirms, you know, what obviously system that this folder is for in case there's any ambiguity so nintendo 3ds all good and then it tells you the supported file extensions so there you go and that's it for this now that you've added your games go to steam rom manager click yes for this and now let's just set up steam rom manager and then we'll be able to play some games okay so here what i want you to do is deselect or you know toggle and toggle it off by passes this would deselect everything and just enable emulation station de and emulators you might be thinking that's all that was you know activated if you have installed other emulators you know like i just did you know with citra for example it'll enable that one by default you don't want that the reason being if you have that enabled by default it will add all your emulation you know all your roms with your steam deck library sounds pretty cool but it's it's a it can be a nightmare imagine if you have like 20 you know 3ds games a hundred playstation one games a thousand game Boy advance and nes games which are small that'll clog that library up using this method you're only you're put it into a collection which i'll cover soon click save i will get an error but find it works anyway and go to preview generate app list and I find that once it's generated it, two icons only appear if I've got more than emulation station than let's say Citra. If you maximize it, that's where the rest will appear. So don't worry, that's how you can get the rest to appear. And now in here, you can change the thumbnail for Citra as you see fit. I'm going to change it back to the OG. And you can download the thumbnail using that button there or using this button here. You can click that and choose a custom file as an icon and click save app list and that's it now we can close this down one last thing I want to show you you in EMU deck is we're gonna to go to tools and stuff and there's really two main three main things that you know are relevant to the Citra emulator updating emulators and tools so 
every so often it's good to go into here instead of going through that custom mode go to update flat packs and like the 3ds is there you can deselect everything else and just select 3ds or just select what you've you know obviously only show you what you've got installed for example and you know if click ok it'll pop up if there's an update next save backup you can save your backups to a cloud storage like google drive or dropbox this is in beta mode so maybe a bit buggy but it's still a cool feature to have i keep saying i'm going to enable it but i haven't yet steam rom manager that's what we was just in so if you need to go back to it that's what you would do for bios checker and this again other than a while open there there's nothing here that really interests us because it's nothing to do with 3ds and go to emulator guides here you can select your emulator which in this case citra is selected by default and just tell you a bit of information you can use gyro using a steam jack gyro i found that honestly doesn't really work that's built into an emu deck i will create a separate video covering that feel free to check that out here are some hotkeys there are some extra stuff to know about the hotkeys i'm going to cover a bit of it in this video and in a separate video i'll cover it in more depth because i'm like saying there's a bit more to know about the hotkeys that are very important and if let's say you mess around with your Citra configuration and you mess something up, you don't know what it is, go here, click reset, you'll reset it. And click off that, we're done. Now click return to gaming mode and now let's launch up some games. So I already had added two games. So there's two main ways of launching games for you know using the EMU deck installation. There's going directly into Citra via the gaming mode or using emulation station i'll show you both i prefer emulation station and if i press the steam button go to library and you'll notice that there's a new tab called collections in there there's a folder called emulation and in there there's some stuff and citra is one of them before you launch up citra go to the controller icon and you want to change a few things you want to go to here and this will probably be like y or b or something for r4 or some or maybe r5 you know it'll be on gamepad by default press r1 go to left mouse click do the same for l4 but do a right mouse click the reason we need this is because the emulator citra by default won't allow you to use the mouse and you do need it in the menus unless you're just using the touch screen which isn't the best experience go to right trackpad behavior by default is as joystick go to as mouse and that allows us to navigate and that's it so if we go off this and now go to play for example now we can launch up our games we can use the trackpad as you can see and i'm totally forward so i can get our access to r4 we go to emulation we can go to configure in here we can configure a bunch of stuff the main ones that we're interested in is you know making sure enable new 3ds mode is enabled set the time and date some games do need an accurate time and date feel free to change the cpu clock speed information about it is here in terms of performance i usually leave it as default unless there's a particular game that i know that might need it in graphics feel free to increase the internal resolution bear in mind that will have a negative impact on performance but feel free to try and see what works best for you and obviously again feel free to mess around with these settings as you see fit but for the most part you can leave them as is change the controls if you want to let's say if i want if i press a you know using the mouse left click and if i press the up key that's what that's done now and i'm just going to you know remap it back to default but feel free to you know mess around with this and you know create a new profile which is great for different games different users different game genres it's a really you know useful tool and there's obviously some hockeys here as well if we go here and in a bunch of hockeys feel free to have a look at them and you can map them to whatever that combo to whatever you know button you want i'm gonna go cancel you can launch the game from here just clicking on them and you can add a new game directory but you shouldn't need to honestly this is not my preferred way of running it so i'm gonna go off here press the steam button go to exit confirm and from here i would recommend that you go to controls you go to gamepad with you know joystick trackpad and you go to emu deck citra 3ds that is what you want to do 
and that will be the best uh, experience um but obviously that's when you're in the game and but yet so there's some configuration for some buttons here so i want to go back to my gamepad trying to see which one which one i had again uh, oh, uh, it's not enabled anymore the back buttons are I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that later okay final one is emulation station so go to emulation station and in the controls I you know done this for you know Citra uh, but obviously if you're playing a different game you might want it slightly different and the main thing that we want is to do with the back button and this is very important so go on that emulation station and just find 3DS 3DS if we go to Super Mario 3D Land so this was encrypted but I decrypted it using the AES underscore keys.txt file here we go. there we go okay oh here we go so we got the bottom right is the bottom screen on the left we got the top screen if we press R4 it swaps the screens around which is useful just click on it like so if we press l4 it goes full screen mode on and off if we press l5 it changes the configuration so you can have the top screen as the main screen and that's great if let's say you're in a game you mainly just need the top screen and you're already in the game you're not the menu you know you can have different configurations and whilst in the menu you can maybe just have this one um yeah so if i was to go to a and obviously now because it's on the top screen i can switch it so that's the so there you go the game is now working i am gonna go off it and remember the controller settings are set to emu deck citra if you are playing um like i'm gonna quit off it now yeah if you are playing a different emulator you know different consoles games via emulation station feel free to set it to that particular emulator as well so that's it if you have any questions feel free to post on the discord group link in the description if you want to post in the comments feel free to if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button separate video covering the 3ds hotkeys is coming soon so stay tuned for that let me know what the emu deck and steam deck videos you would like to see next and i'll see you soon bye bye